Hey guys, welcome to Sakura's Tech Spot. We got an emergency tech video here. A couple years ago, I modified this third generation iPod to use a compact flash card instead of a traditional spinning disc hard drive. Now I have the traditional spinning disc hard drive still in my other third generation iPod, and this one works just fine. It's actually charging right now, and the computer recognizes it. But when I plugged in this one, I, I didn't get anything. When I tried charging it, it wouldn't load up and I decided to open it and investigate to see what the hell is going on. Lo and behold, it looks like the battery crapped out on me, or maybe it's even the converter to converting the traditional ATA uh, connector to the flash drive connector, and it looks like it potentially fried right here. So, you can also see a bunch of corrosion, and I'm not really sure what that is. It looks kind of like battery acid. But uh, whatever that happened here, it left a skid mark on the side of the casing. So let's go ahead and investigate. Do a little bit of an autopsy here. So I'm going to go ahead, first things first, disconnect the battery so it doesn't blow itself up anymore. It still turns on, so it has some sort of life in it. But right now I'm having some trouble getting the uh, battery out, or the connector off at least. Okay, let's go ahead and disconnect casing buttons at least. The irony of doing this on a brand new MacBook. Well, not brand new, a newer MacBook. Uh, I'm just gonna take this out right here. So this is where it connects to the actual motherboard of the iPod. Let's go ahead and put that to the side. Not really sure what happened, but let me see if I could show you the damaged pins over here. This is where it went faulty, it looks like, and um, that's probably not a good thing because that's probably where the power is going in. And here's the battery. The battery looks like uh, it committed suicide. And it's, it's not disconnecting, which kind of worries me. Let's get a closer look at that. Can we see what's going on? You see the battery all weird, weirdly deformed. It's got some yellowness on it. This is the aftermarket battery I got from iFixit. So uh, I'll be contacting iFixit. I mean, like I said, I did this project a couple years ago. I'm not sure if they're willing to replace it. But here we go, finally got the battery off. Let's go back here and investigate. I wanna see what happened right here. It looks like these two pins corroded. I'm not really sure exactly. Yeah, I used double-sided tape to hold it together and it looks like it's still holding. Oh, that's nasty. That is nasty. Yeah, there are these two pins that look like they got shorted out together, causing... It burned through the plastic even. Just caused the whole thing to self-destruct. Oh, it's the master slave jumper. But this should have been... I mean, it's the only drive in the entire iPod. It has to be the master. This is worth investigating, but let me take off the double-sided tape and come back here. Now at least get rid of this. So let's take a look. Try to figure out what happened here. Look at this. That is something. I, I barely use this thing and somehow it short-circuited itself. Let me clean that off so we can get a better look. Okay, so I cleaned this off the best I can and I have no idea where the point of failure was. Um, it looks like a bunch of pins got taken out. Uh, I'm not sure if this corroded over time and it just went from one pin to another to another. I have no idea what happened here. But right here, you can see exactly how bad it is. Uh, looks like these two pins got taken out as well. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what happened. Um, from the front, it looks like it was only on this side where these two pins shorted, but if I flip it, it looks like it's way worse. I don't know what happened here. I did notice that the battery itself has some corrosion as well near the connectors where the protection circuitry is for the battery. Uh, I don't know if the battery malfunctioned or the converter malfunctioned and this is just like a side effect, but 
something went wrong with the whole setup and I'm just gonna order another converter and try to use this battery. Um, if it works, then the battery is okay. I mean, I did get some power uh, when I plugged it in, but I'm not sure if that's from the battery or from directly from the power adapter. So um, I'll make a follow-up video after I get my converter, but for the time being, be careful with this project. I'm not sure what went wrong. So if you have any idea, uh, if you could tell from just looking at it, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. And uh, for the time being, good luck with your third gen iPod project. This one will be on hold until I can get a new one of these. Um, I've heard people do it with micro SD cards, so maybe I'll take this chance and get a micro SD card converter instead and have maybe I'll have better luck with that. Like I said, if you want to see the project go in action of me putting this thing together, link in the description, annotation here somewhere. And um, yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.